the internet. Today I'm coming to you with a haul. Uh, I finally got around to do a haul and it's going to be a long one. Mm. I am in a great mood today. I don't really know why. I mean, it's Friday. Let's be happy. So if you want to see what I bought, um, just continue watching my video. So without further ado, let's move on to this majestic haul. Majestic? Amazing. Awesome. Very, very long. Totally current. Let's just say haul. So let's start from the shoes. First pair of shoes that I got are these lovely animal, uh, animal, animal print shoes by a company called Bar3, I think this is the name of the company. I'm not quite sure because I'm not familiar with this company. I think I paid about $60 for them and I got them in America. I got them in Macy's and they're, they are leather. Actually, this is the, what you call it? Pony leather or something like that. You know the way like it has little hairs. I don't actually have any animal print shoes at all in my collection of shoes. I have a way too many. Size, very small size, size 3. And this is the thing, like I'm actually size 1, 2 and they actually fit me. So that's brilliant. The heel isn't too high. I'd say it's about 8 centimeters, which makes them really comfortable to wear all day long. And I think every single girl should have some sort of animal print pair of shoes because they're such a statement piece. They go with pretty much everything and you can wear them in the winter, you can get wear them in the summer. I just really like them. So remember girl, get yourself a pair of animal print shoes because they are awesome. Next. Right, let's move on to the next pair. A lovely pair of studded silver studded sandals by Topshop. And these bags were on sale. I think I bought them for 30 euros, but I know that at some point they went down to 20 pounds. I think they still have them. And what I really love about them is the fact that they have a heel, which by the way is a little bit too high for me. I mean, I wear them and stuff, but I once went shopping in them and after half an hour I was gonna go, come on, please, somebody help me, I can't walk anymore. <laughs> yeah, that was slightly dramatic, but you, you get the message, right? The chunky heel, so they're quite comfortable to walk in. You see, I generally have this problem that I'm such a small size, so my foot is kind of like more in an angle that it would be if your feet is bigger. Foot is bigger? Do you know what I mean? I love the silver detail at the toe and I love the silver tooth and they really, really remind me of those Balenciaga sandals that I am in love with, except these are about seven million times cheaper. I wore them loads when I was in America because it was warm in there, it's kind of winter in Ireland, so I don't get to wear them now, but they're gonna be perfect for the summer, so I absolutely love these. Now, another pair of shoes that I got, I actually didn't get them, that's a lie. I got them as a present, and it was my birthday present, and yes, it was a few months ago, but this is the first time I get a chance to actually show them, because I haven't done a haul in ages. It's the most classic pair of Labutons, Labutines, whatever the hell you pronounce it because now at this point of my life I don't actually know because every single person says it completely differently so I'm just gonna say Labutons, Labutines, Labutons, Labutines. So basically I want these shoes for ages. Finally when it came to my birthday as I said I got them as a present I was absolutely delighted. For most of my life I really thought that I'm a size Two, UK 2 which is 35 European but I had to get these in size 1 which is size 34 and I got them in 10 centimeters heel because they're super duper comfortable to walk and they're just comfortable and I did not want to spend a lot of money on shoes that I won't be able to walk in. So these are my go-to shoes. I absolutely love them. This I don't black because black is kind of like, you know, black goes with everything. And yes, I am planning to get the nude pair, but I'm gonna have to wait a little bit. Put the money in the saving box. Right, that's all the shoes. Now let's move on to boots. The first pair are these over knee, pointy toe, skinny heel boots and these are by Style Snatcher Shop. These are totally my favorite boots for uh, this autumn, winter, spring season. Autumn, winter, spring season. Did I just invent it a new season? Yeah, because it's kind of like technically we're going into spring, but it's not spring because it's cold, so it's winter. But the season-wise, it would be autumn, winter. 
I guess maybe for some of you that might make sense. These are stunning on, they look amazing on. They go with 99.9% of my outfits ever. This part is made from real leather, I mean it's suede leather. And then this part is kind of false suede leather because I do actually own a pair of boots that are made from suede leather all the way and they're not great because they're so heavy, the leather is so heavy that they just keep like sliding down on your legs and that doesn't look good and they're really really heavy as well so the heel is 8 centimeters, and that's perfect because these are the type of boots that you can wear everywhere you know you can you can have them on all day I love the rubber sole as well because that makes the boot really really comfortable and you know it's not slippery or anything like that and another thing that I think most important thing when it comes to over knee boots is you know when you wear over knee boots with like shorts or a skirt or a dress or whatever they look the best if you wear no tights so basically if your skin is showing and it's winter and it's cold and you don't want to kind of compromise it's like I don't want to be freezing but at the same time I want to look good so these babes have like a really really soft fluffy very warm material inside and it's basically like if you were wearing a sock inside whenever I wear them out I do not wear tights or I do not wear socks because they really keep me warm and I absolutely love it because I think they look amazing with the bare leg showing. Another pair of boots that I absolutely love this season is again by Styles Natural Shop. They're black over knee boots and I know what you're gonna say, you're gonna say girlfriend why do you have two pairs of exactly the same boots? They're not exactly the same because girlfriend the other ones are pointy toe and a different heel. These ones are, these are actually the exact copy of Stuart Weitzman, I think that's how you pronounce his name. He's like a, a boot shoes designer and his designs are loved by all the celebrities. So basically pretty much every single celebrity you can name, they would have the shoes, the boots. And uh, these are different than the other ones because the toe is round. Um, it's not really round, it's kind of like round. Okay? And the heel is more chunky, so um, they're different. <laughs> also, um, the thing that I really love about them is the shrink at the end, which allows you to tie them and make sure that they don't fall off your legs. And the same thing, the boot part of the boot is made from real suede and the upper part of the boot is made from false suede which is exactly the same as the original Stuart Weitzman boots. So yeah, they accept the price is like at least four or five times cheaper which is great, my phone's ringing then. That is the all four pairs of shoes that I got and I love them all and maybe you like them too and you decide to buy them. If so, all the links are down below so just click on the links and Go buy them. Clothing haul. I'm gonna start with what I'm wearing at the moment. Um, so this is the jumper that I received literally today. And um, I got it from Boohoo and it was, I think it was 12 pounds, which is 14 euros. What? I think I've ordered it about two days ago and usually it takes about five days for Boohoo packages to arrive, but uh, it's here now, so I'm not complaining. It feels really soft and it fits me amazingly. I got it in a size small to medium. And um, I love the back detail. It is so cute and it is super wearable. I generally have a problem with knitwear and jumpers and this is just a perfection. It fits so nice and it's kind of longer, which is great because you can wear it with leggings or like super duper skinny jeans and make sure that your Ours is not really showing, which is kind of great, you know, it's, it's cool to show it as well, but anyways, I like that. The next item is a skirt, and this one is from Boohoo as well, and what I really love about this skirt is that um, it has the split, and it's kind of deep split, and to be honest with you, I am disappointed with this item because I thought it's going to be a different fabric. Uh, but it is kind of a chiffony fabric. The shorts were 25 euros. I am actually thinking that I might possibly return them, but I have a little think about it and decide then. Yeah, the shorts. 
Another item that I got from Boohoo is an exactly the same jumper that I am wearing right now except it is in different colour. The colour is called uh, charcoal, the price is the same so it is 14 euros which is 12 pounds. Um, this one came, it's the same size, it's small to medium but it doesn't fit as well and as this one does. I think it's kind of slightly bit too loose in the arms so therefore sometimes it's kind of falling off my arms. Uh, but I think I can live with that. I really, really like the colour. This jumper comes in three colours actually, which is the cream of white that I'm wearing, the charcoal one that I just showed you and a black as well. It's good quality for 14 euros, like I, I think this is the best you can get. Again, absolutely totally in love with the deep v-neck uh, detail at the back and I really like the fact that it's such a wearable piece, you can really wear it you know, if you're going to a bar for a couple of drinks or just kind of around the house if you want to feel more sexy, I guess. I think sexy is the right word. So, boo jumpers. Yeah, go get them, girl. Another item is this beautiful dress by Style Snatcher Shop. And um, you have probably, if you follow me, let's start from that, you have probably seen it in my latest post I um, on my blog. I've got so many good positive comments on this and so many compliments and it is a really really nice dress and um, I like the fabric, I like the V, I think I may be obsessed with the open neck, V neck kind of thing. It's the kind of dress that you can really wear in the summer and you can also wear in the winter. So uh, if you want to see how I wore it, how I styled it, just head out to my blog, I'm going to have the link down below. Um, lovely dress, the size that I got, I think I got it in size small, let me check, yeah I got it in size small. The fabric is kind of, it's kind of like silky, but it's not silk. Uh, that's probably the best I can describe it to you. This season I'm totally obsessed with this gypsy boohoo kind of look, so this dress just, you know, is perfect. I love it. That's the dress. Okay, you're gonna be like, she is obsessed with v necks boohoo style and lace because the next item I'm going to show you is a lace dress. This dress is from Style Snatcher Shop as well and I think on the camera it looks kind of more yellow than it actually is. I love this dress. I do not like items with the high neck but this is an exception and like the detail on this dress is like it's so nice and so well made like the lace is so pretty and oh I really like the color as well I really like those warm colors uh, but I like to pair this dress with silver jewelry for contrast I think if you were to wear silver I mean gold with it it would be a little bit too much like I'm a gold queen oh. but with silver it's really nice I know some people are gonna say oh my god you should never like wear silver with gold. I do that all my life and I think it's cool, so. Personal choices. This dress is a really cool piece because you can wear it to so many occasions. It is a perfect dress if you're going on a date or if you're going to a more for formal um, event. I like it and I'm sure I'm gonna get loads of wear from it. So that's the gold lace dress, gone. So remember when I told you that you're going to say I'm obsessed with lace? Well that would be because there's another piece um, that is made from lace. And this my dear is a, a lace dress, lace dress which I bought in a new look. I bought it in new look and I paid about 40 euros for it and I got it before Christmas. But I have been browsing through Boohoo website recently and they do have exactly the same dress which I do not remember the price but I think it's about 25 quid. It's definitely cheaper. It is exactly exactly the same dress. It's a kind of A cut dress and it's made from lace material. It has under skirt and what I really like about it is the fact that there is a different pattern on the, on the lace. So the body of the dress and half a sleeve is this kind of like a cheaper lace and then the ends of the sleeves and the ends of the dress is not actually a lace I think it's a crochet crochet is that how you pronounce it I don't know crochet lace and that makes it look really expensive like, the dress is really simple but I really like it because you can pair it with a nice chunky boohoo gypsy style jewelry of course and it makes really nice outfits it's such a wearable piece I really like it so that's my lace black dress. 
Next up is a lovely knitwear dress and um, this knitwear dress is from Zara and I got it last week and it was on sale actually I think it was about 15 pounds or 12 pounds or something really cheap and ridiculous like this it is just a kind of long knitwear and I often wear it as a knitwear dress with my over knee boots or I would pair it with my ripped de denim on those colder days it is just the perfect shade of grey hmm. and it has about 50 shades of grey no, I'm not quite sure if it's 50 but it it's quite a few shades of grey. It's kind of like textured. And um, I really like the split on the sleeves. It's a small thing, but it's kind of cool. It's just one of those pieces that you just throw on, add some jewelry, put your boots on, and you can just go and do things that you have to do. I think they still have them. I saw them in Dublin. So if you want to get one, head to Zara because the sale is still on. So that's my grey knitwear Zara dress. Another piece is also from Zara and it's also from sale and this is the um, jumper, stripey jumper, nothing really special about it. I kind of like that stripe because it's something that really breaks up the outfit. This jumper I got in Zara in Brussels but I do know that they have them in Ireland and UK. I cannot remember how much it was. It was something like let's say 14 euros or 12.99 or something like that. I love to wear it with my black leather pants or my black rib jet denim it makes you look like you've put yourself together even though that you necessarily didn't i like the knitwear fabric it's really soft and really comfortable to wear i got mine in a size medium because i wanted it to be a little bit oversized and the sleeves are a little bit too long for me but i like that because you know on those really cold days when you forget to bring gloves and you're out yeah, you just pull the sleeves down and what well, magic gloves. So this is my stripy black and white Zara knitwear. Bye. Another piece that I recently got and I absolutely fell in love with is this white lace shirt. The uh, shirt is by Stas Nutty Shop and um, this is actually a sample so it's going to be on the website probably around the same time this video is up. Believe me or not, okay? But this is the only white classic classic shirt that I own. Uh, I don't really own that many shirts and I wanted to get like a nice white crispy shirt and um, because I didn't have any alright and but, you know I didn't want it to be just normal and boring and then I saw this and I was like come on guys like this you are gonna be mine. I absolutely lo love this split det detail at the back you can button it up or leave it open. I really love the lace v-neck detail at the back. I told you I'm obsessed with lace and v-necks. It really is something that makes the shirt unusual and it is the kind of piece that you can totally wear to the office or you can totally dress up with like some chunky jewelry and a mini skirt or whatever and pair of heels and head out and you know you're still gonna look good. So yes I finally got myself a semi-classic white shirt and I absolutely love it. Another piece that I'm going to show you is a, a dress from Forever 21 in a khaki color. It is kind of like a darker khaki. I think it's $12.95 but it's going to be listed down below. So it's just the most basic dress you can possibly imagine. It's kind of shapeless the way it's cut but because the material is really really stretchy and really hugs your figure so it doesn't matter what type of figure do you have this dress is going to fit you right in the right places if you know what I mean. So it's very easy to wear. A, a very figure hugging and uh, super cheap as well and I really like this ripped material. This one is in one size so I guess this one size I would say it fits anything from 8 to 12 but I don't know you just would have to try it on. It goes really well with another item and the last item that I am going to show you in today's haul. So yeah, my khaki dress from Forever 21, there it goes. Okay, and the last piece in this haul is another khaki item, although this is slightly different shade than the other one. And this is a doctor coat from ASOS. Why am I talking like this? I don't know. I saw a recent video by Carly Bibble and she did this fashion haul and she was showing this doctor coat in it. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, you have to be mine. It was around 50 euros 
Which I mean, you know, for a duster coat, I'd say it's all right. I really like the coat, the coat itself. I really love the fit. I love the color. And here's the thing: the fabric is kind of like a silky fabric, but it's not silk. It has this silky bit inside, but it's not silk, but it's really soft. And um, it is a duster coat, so it's a really thin coat. I literally wore it once, and it is so filthy. I think it's actually dry clean only. Dry clean only. So yeah, on average dry clean is about a fiber. So if you get this coat, it's gonna get dirty and you're gonna have to get it dry clean. So, so you know. So yeah guys, this is it. This is all I got. I hope that maybe some of the items that I showed you, you liked and you might want to purchase. If so, the links are down below. And if not, maybe you at least enjoyed watching my haul. Thanks very much for watching and make sure you subscribe to my channel and make sure you check my other videos. And I am going to be back talking to you very, very soon.